and now a clear instruction when it is time to vote vote only in the favor of the church not for your party any believer that sells out his faith in the name of party is heading for hell are you hearing that don't open your eyes and vote for people who will kill you if you kill your conscience you will answer before the Lord. We may not have the best of candidates, but we have them in grades. You know a better candidate than an evil candidate. If you are not sure, if you are not sure, check the antecedents. Check the antecedents. Check history. It's unfortunate that we have dead-minded people all around the nation who don't check history, who are carried away by puff and donuts and money that cannot last. Somebody gives you 50,000 naira to last you your suffering for, five, for four years. You are jumping around, jumping around. Man, let your brain come alive. Let your conscience come alive. Christians were killed and no apology by people who are in authority. And you will see blindly go and vote for them. Churches are destroyed. Nobody bothered to build them back. And you still go and vote for them. Hear me? Even if the people who are there answers the name of a Christian and they do that, turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. Four years ago, everybody had warnings like this. Everybody had warnings like this. And many people still sheepishly went ahead to do what is wrong. I hope by now we are wiser. 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 Are wiser. Vote in the interest of the church. Vote for the interest of the church. The line is very clear. Vote in the interest of other ethnic groups in Nigeria. This nation is not a Fulani nation. In case you don't understand what I'm talking about. It's unfortunate that many people have even sold out their roots. They don't care about what happened to their region, to their zones, to the ethnic background that they have. All because of money. But time is going to catch up with every evil person in this nation. Is somebody hearing me at all? The choice is yours. You have the power to do so. Do what you can and God will do what you cannot. Do what you can and God will do what you cannot. Our God who does not sleep nor slumber will act in your favor. We act in the favor of the church. We act in the interest of this nation. Rise to your feet. Check records. Check records. Where was economy four years ago? And where is economy today? You are dying of hunger. And you are going to vote for people who will kill you finally with hunger. Let's be wise now. Let's be wise. Let, even if your spirit doesn't speak, let your intelligence speak. Let your intelligence speak. Let your intelligence speak. Everything has been going down. And somebody is telling you that things are working. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. Are we so daft? Are we so ignorant? Let's wake up. 
Let's wake up. Let's wake up and rescue ourselves from dangers ahead. The God of the Hebrews will fight for us as a nation. The God of Israel will defend this land. 